Let's move on now. Is the Israeli government on the brink? Fissures are deepening within Israel's war cabinet. Now, Minister Benny Gantz has threatened to resign unless Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sets out a definite post-war plan for the Gaza Strip. In a televised address on Saturday, Gantz threatened to resign from the government if it doesn't adopt a new plan in three weeks' time. That's by the 8th of June. Gantz, who is a centrist member of Israel's three-member war cabinet, called for urgent realization of six strategic goals, including bringing back the hostages, to be followed by toppling the rule of Hamas and establishment of a multinational civilian administration for the territory. Along with maintaining Israeli security control, establish an American, European, Arab and Palestinian administration that will manage the strip and lay the foundations for a future alternative that is not Hamas and is not Mehmoud Abbas. Return the residents of the north to their homes by the 1st of September and restore the Negev in the west. The comments by guns come just days after another war cabinet member, Defence Minister Yoav Gallant, urged Prime Minister Netanyahu to state publicly that Israel had no plans to take over civilian and military rule in Gaza. Netanyahu has dismissed the calls, saying the washed-up words would mean defeat for Israel. His office denounced the ultimatum to the Prime Minister, saying he was targeting the wrong party. Hardliners in his government want the military offensive on Gaza's southernmost city of Rafa to press ahead with the goal of crushing Hamas. And the ultimatum from within his cabinet is further causing more worry. The people of Israel are watching you. You must choose between Zionism and cynicism, between unity and factions, between responsibility and lawlessness, between victory and disaster. If you put the nation and the national over personal and choose to follow the footsteps of Herzl, Ben Gurion, Begin and Rabin, you will find in us partners in the struggle. But if you choose the path of fanatics and lead the entire nation to the abyss, we will be forced to quit the government. Opinion polls suggest Netanyahu will be replaced in elections with Gantz, the most likely candidate to be the next prime minister. The survey published by Mariv and conducted over 543 respondents revealed that war cabinet member Benny Gantz is leading against the prime minister when it comes to choice of Israeli prime minister. Gantz garnered 45% support and Netanyahu 35%. To talk about the ongoing rift in Netanyahu's go uh, government and cabinet, we are now being joined by uh, Flower Hassan Nahom, who is Israel's special envoy for the foreign ministry. Hassan Nahom, good to see you and thank you very much for making time for us. Is there a problem within the war cabinet in Israel and is Netanyahu safe? Well, as you know, uh, India and Israel are both very robust democracies and the governments in this country are made up of coalitions of different parties. So there's an inherent built in tension in any type of cabinet, especially a war cabinet in the middle of the war. And so, yes, there are big differences of opinions and there are a lot of criticisms on the prime minister on the way that he's executing the war. Absolutely. So there is a survey that was conducted uh, and it shows that uh, Benny Gantz is a likely person to take over Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as the next Prime Minister. What do you feel or what do you think about Benny Gantz and his policies? Well, I'm not sure that we can really say that that's the case. Um, I always like to quote uh, our uh, previous president, Shimon Peres, who says that polls are like perfume, you should sniff but not swallow. You have to understand that the polls that are carried out at the moment in the middle of the war do not take into account what happens after the war when new parties arrive or new constellations of existing parties come together. So it's very difficult to say who is exactly is going to be the next prime minister. What is looking likely is that Netanyahu, if he does run another election, he's likely to lose a lot of support. And then we will have to see who arises as the leader of the anti-Netanyahu bloc. Anything can happen. There's many different things that divide the war cabinet at the moment. Uh, Benny Gantz is 
are threatening to leave the uh, the coalition. But even if Benny Gantz leaves the coalition, Netanyahu still has a government. Let me ask you this, Hassan Nahom. What do you think should happen after the war ends? What do you think is the right direction for Gaza to take? Or what do you think is the right direction for Israel to take? Well, firstly, we have to make sure that Hamas no longer have the authority or the resources to rule Gaza. They are a genocidal Islamic fundamentalist regime that has made its own people, people miserable. They are run by gangs, thieves and murderers. And so Israel can no longer live with the reality that Hamas has in its borders. What should happen after the war? I think in an ideal situation that the Palestinians have some type of civil administration that they can handle their own day-to-day -day affairs, uh, whether it's by local leaders, whether it's by some version of the Palestinian Authority. Some people agree with that, some people don't. But I would really much like, in, my, in, in an ideal situation, to have intervention uh, from the Americans and perhaps some Abraham Accords countries. Because when you look at the Emirates and you look at Saudi Arabia, how they have managed to get rid of their Islamic fundamentalists for the last 10, 20 years, they seem to know what they're doing. And so I think uh, there could be a nice regional constellation helping, the be the helping Gaza and the people of Gaza uh, come to its feet, not under a genocidal regime that have spent all their resources building tunnels instead of developing the economy and developing their own people. All right. I've been talking to spe uh, Israel's special envoy for the foreign ministry, Madam Hassan Nahom. Thank you for talking to us today. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.